Well, new at six tonight, police in Concord are looking for a suspect accused of stealing a camper from Camping World. Yeah, this is an odd story. The family who owns the stolen property is looking now for answers tonight as to why the company is not being held responsible for it going missing. Well, Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joining us live outside of Camping World in Concord tonight. Yeah, and Taylor, how did the owner find out that his property was stolen? Yeah, Brian Alicia, two days after he dropped it off here for maintenance work, he says he got a call from law enforcement saying it was involved in a hit and run. Mm -hmm. Over the last eight months, Tim Hartgrove and his wife have traveled the southeast in this camper. It was exciting to start going, traveling with my kids and camping. It's, I enjoy it. It's great. His son-in-law, Brandon Hardy, bought them the camper as a retirement gift for that exact reason. But now it's in the hands of someone else. Retirement for my parents are kind of shattered right now. Last Friday, Tim says he brought the camper to Camping World for warranty issues. Two days later, he received a call from his daughter. Are you in Crowder's Mountain? I'm like, no, why would I be in Crowder's Mountain with the camper? Because <laughs> the camper is in the shop. I don't have it. And from that, everything, she's like, oh my God, somebody has the camper. According to Concord Police, on Saturday morning, a suspect pulled into Camping World with a U-Haul, hooked up the camper, and drove off. The following day, the driver was spotted on doorbell cam running over a mailbox in the Crowder's Mountain area, leaving behind the license plate. That's the only way we found out that the camper had been stolen. He ran the tag, went back to Brandon. Call Brandon. Brandon called me. Their next step was calling Camping World, who Brandon says had no idea the camper was missing. We lost personal items as well as our camper. Um, they stated nothing they can do. You know, basically just file everything on your insurance, you'll be fine. Within the last three months, Concord police say at least two campers have been stolen from the location. Thank you for going Camping World, Concord. We reached out to Camping World to find out their policy for theft involving customers' property and did not hear back by deadline. They just really don't seem to care. While Tim says the camper, two TVs, a grill, and other items inside the camper can be replaced, two throw pillows handmade by his mother, who died in April, cannot. So it means a lot to me that if I got him back, it was just something of hers that I would have. And we also reached out to the company's headquarters regarding their policy. We did not hear back. Concord police say they are still looking for the suspect in that camper. Reporting live in Concord, Taylor Young, Queen City News. Taylor, thank you for that.